everyone, my name is Girish Rao. Thanks for watching this tutorial. This tutorial was brought to you by Pinkster Academy. Alright, if you are watching this video, you have fallen into the coder's trap, my friend. You seriously need to take a break and do some meditation. Eat some fruits. And eat a carrot. Carrots are really good for the brain as well as the eyes. Many times when we code, um, as coders, we all, uh, often what happens is when we are hitting a problem, um, you know, for a long, long, long time, we, we fall into this trap, we get into a zone uh, where, uh, all right, the problem is staring at us in the eyes and we are not able to see uh, clearly what it is. I mean, it's, it's telling us what the problem is, but we don't realize it because we are tired or, you know, we are fatigued or we can't see well. So that is the reason I was, um, you know, saying for you to take a break and eat some nourishing food, um, which which helps really. You know, once you break that monotony, uh, not monotony, but once you break that cycle um, and you come back after a while, you'll see the problem really clearly. So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about. I'm going to tell you what causes uh, the unknown label type continuous error when you use logistic regression in SK Learns, the Scikit Learns library. Uh, for machine learning um, it's a pretty common problem and uh, you know you might not realize uh, how easy or you know the solution is or how how you missed it or it was so easy to miss it so don't don't beat yourself up it's a very quick solution um, and this is how um, it goes let's see okay so I'm going to show quickly show you what causes the unknown label type error uh, when one uses uh, the logistic regression machine learning model from sklearn. Um, so again, here's my, uh, uh, the Python interpreter itself and on, my, on the right I have my script uh, which I wrote to quickly show you what causes an error. So just to give you a heads up, uh, it is this line um, you know, that, that we use for the y variable that causes an error. Um, and we'll, I'll cut and paste it and I'll show you how line by line, um, you know, how, where, when that error occurs. So let's do that. And there you go. That's the error we, we are talking about, the, the unknown label type continuous error. So now this error was really caused because uh, you might have chosen uh, very likely you chose the wrong y variables. See the y variable, right? The target vector has to be a vector of binary values or something like that, categorical values it's called, um, such as 0, 1, true, false, no, yes, that kind of values. You cannot give it continuous float values like 4.2, 6.8, 3.4, and so on. So how do we how do we fix this? That the easy fix is, let's say, you know, um, uh, just for this example, this is a, a simple example for illustrative purpose only to show you how to get rid of an error, of that particular error. So I'll uncomment this uh, and I'll comment it with the correct um, way to send it in and it should fix that. So, so here you go. Uh, And we'll do the everything again. We don't need to import the library since we already did it. So and there you go. It printed the answer three and four for my unknown uh, x variables, which is 4.8, 6.4, and so on. So over here we see that you know this was my training data, the x variables, uh, the y variable was um, you know my target uh, vector. Um, which needs to be integer numbers if we are using sklearn's log logistic regression um, uh, machine learning model. Um, and then again, I give it my u variables um, in the end and I'm predicting for the unknown variables and I see that it works. So the whole problem was that you might have given the error happened because you probably gave it uh, float values for the target vectors and you should have given it um, you know integer values or better yet categorical values we call it uh, such as binary one zero one values or no yes true false and things like that all right so that that is what kind of causes that uh, that uh, error uh, to happen 
now one more thing before I go is this this example is really I used it for illustrative purposes to show you really what causes an error so you can move forward but what you need to do is really step back and examine your data and uh, see you know examine your data are you using the correct model is this data are you looking for like a you know yes no answer or is this something you're looking for more a continuous um, you know answer a float float answer uh, so you have to look back and see what machine learning model applies really to your data um, uh, it's very likely that you are probably wanting to use linear regression or, or a clustering algorithm or something like that instead of you know the, the logistic regression so there it is um, uh, that the, you know now what causes an error oh I wanted to tell you if I if you feel like I'm going too fast uh, then just uh, you know press the pause pause button or you know speed me up or slow me down um, you know to, to kind of understand it and all, all of this um, you know code it's in the blog already if you read the accompanying blog you'll get the code so just don't worry about it just understand what's going on uh, you know the so the video tells you really fast compared to you know but the code will show you exactly uh, where it goes all right so for this before we leave uh, the next what I wanted to show you was how um, you know logistic regression can be applied uh, in a practical manner here I have an example of this this was taken from um, a book uh, by Chris Meyer Christian Meyer uh, it's called uh, Python one-liners and it's it's about uh, he shows how this logistic regression happens and he uses this example where um, you know there is data that correlates um, uh, you know the uh, a chance of a person getting lung cancer uh, based on the number of cigarettes they smoke so here again we have the classic x variables is you know the number of cigarettes smoked uh, per day and then you have you know the outcome of you know when there is zero cigarette smoke per day the outcome is no the person doesn't have lung cancer 10 is still no 15 is yes they have a lung cancer they smoke 60 cigarettes per day definitely yes uh, lung cancer 90 cigarettes oh my god you know what do you think yep definitely lung cancer so that's the training data that's the target vector and then this is the unknown uh, we use it for prediction purposes hey what if they smoke two cigarettes would they have lung cancer what if they smoke 12 cigarettes would they have lung cancer and so on what about 40 cigarettes and 90 cigarettes you know would they have lung cancer so let's see how the, this is kind of like a you know practical example of how logistic regression might apply so let's see how this works. So again, um, cut and paste everything. Into my Python interpreter. Don't worry, this, uh, all of this is um, uh, you know, available in the blog, so you can uh, just use it from there. Um, you know uh, to for your example you can just uh, cut and paste it from there all right and uh, finally we'll do the fitting um, and you see how it correlates so for two no definite for two uh, cigarettes per day no you won't have lung cancer I'm not saying smoke two cigarettes or so so on and then you know for 12 cigarettes still no lung cancer but for 13, uh, yes, there is lung cancer. So you see the crossover point is around 12, 13. Uh, you know, you start seeing lung cancer and so on. So for 40, definitely a yes, uh, lung cancer. 90, definitely a yes, lung cancer. So uh, another way to see where the cutoff is is to use the predict proba method. Uh, predict probability it is. So, um, so just consider this code. I'm going to cut and paste it. And it'll show you where the cutoff happened for the sigmoid function. So here it is. I'm going to cut it and paste it. There. So you see all the probability is pretty high. It's 0.99 and so on. Um, all the way until about 12. It's 58. And then for 13, it dips down to 0.41. So, you know, the cutoff is around 12.5 or some such. And then once you get over that, um, you know, 
you have that classic sigmoid curve uh, and it goes to it flips uh, to now having yes you have lung cancer so that's it that's how easy the solution uh, was um, uh, you know just just change your data a tiny bit you know re-examine step back re-examine see you know what you really want to learn from your data ask the questions what what information am i trying to get and then apply the right model you know you could maybe you know that the whole data was meant for regression uh, linear regression or clustering algorithms instead of you know classification algorithms or maybe you just had the wrong y variable you know and uh, maybe use a label encoder uh, class and maybe change it so that uh, it is it becomes a binary kind of a, a y variable zeros and ones instead of you know four and continuous uh, floats like 4.5 7.8 and so on so so there that that's it well i hope you learned something new in this tutorial thanks for watching it this tutorial was brought to you by pinkster academy Thank you.